They've come to the safest place they know in South Sudan's capital, the United Nations compound. Carrying whatever they can, these people have escaped fighting between rival army factions. South Sudan's president says he's defeated an attempted coup. At 3 o'clock, a meeting was scheduled for the SPLM's National Liberation Council, but not all members were present. Those who were absent were planning to carry out a coup. They actually attempted it, but the coup was foiled. Those people ran to hide, and we will flush them out of their hiding. Salva Kiir says a number of people were killed and several have been arrested. Among those detained, his former vice president, Riak Mashar. Kiir is blaming the attempted coup on soldiers loyal to Mashar. He was interviewed by Al Jazeera in July. This was just after President Salva Kiir sacked him and the rest of the cabinet. Officially, it was presented as a reshuffle, but it came after Mashar challenged his leadership. We now have one man's rule. So what, what is one man's rule? The dictatorship. Dressed in his military uniform, the president seemed prepared for a battle. We were at the front line, and coming here does not mean we abandoned fighting in this war. Those people are criminals, and it's a criminal act. Oil-rich South Sudan became an independent country two years ago when it split from Sudan. No one ever expected the transition to be easy. Monday's attempted coup shows just how tough it's proving to be. Azhar Sukri, Al Jazeera.